Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I have reached a huge milestone in breastfeeding. I have officially been breastfeeding for three months and it's a milestone to me because breastfeeding is not easy. I've gotten it down packed to where um, in a single day with my daughter, I nurse her in the morning time. Throughout the day I pump and then at night before she goes to bed, I gave her half a bottle of formula. So no, I'm not exclusively breastfeeding, but it's pretty much the same. So a little on my um, breastfeeding story. When my daughter was first born, she, the problem I had with her is that she was not latching on properly for like the longest time. The first couple days in the hospital, the lactation specialist always helped me out trying to get her to latch on properly, but it hurt so bad to the point where I think on the second day I told her just to give me a bottle. At this point, I will bottle feed her if I need to. That's how bad it hurt. Now, once we went home, there was still periods of time where I would try to breastfeed my daughter because I didn't want my milk to dry up. So I tried, like once a day I would try up until uh, my actual milk came in. Now, when my actual milk came in around day, I think it was like day four or five, um, I couldn't breastfeed my daughter. She was sleeping. I didn't want to wake her up to um, breastfeed her. So I decided to pump that day. And after pumping, you know, I put it in bottles and I fed her that throughout the day. So once I did that and realized how easy it was and how painless it was, I decided, okay, here's how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to pump each time and feed her directly from there. Now the problem with pumping, it is very time consuming and it's just irritating to have to put all that stuff together and then take it apart and wash it put it away and then you repeat again in three hours. Plus I was not pumping as regularly as I should have been. I was pumping only uh, you know, three times a, um, a day. I found out that three times was not enough and because I pumped so little, I wasn't producing a lot of milk so I had to supplement that with um, Enfamil. So for a while she was getting half and half. Now after a while, I wanna say a month later, I realized that I missed that bond that you get from um, directly nursing your baby. So I tried one more time and she still wasn't latching on properly. So I told myself, you know what, I'm gonna get this right. I know there's a way to do this without you know feeling pain, so I'm gonna get this right. So I just kept trying and there was a certain way I did it and she finally, she latched on, was sucking properly and I felt no pain and I was like, you know what, finally. And that is when I began nursing her. Now, I'll only nurse her once a day because if I try to a second time, I end up, um, my nipples end up being real sore. And I said to myself, this cannot be life. I don't know how mothers who nurse exclusively do it because after that one time, I can't nurse again until a whole 24 hours. Then I remembered the lactation specialist had given me a nipple shield to put over my um, nipple and then feed my baby. And this is where I'm gonna talk about my three items that have tremendously helped me out throughout my breastfeeding experience. I remembered at the hospital, the specialist had given me a um, nipple shield to help me out with nursing, and it did provide some relief at the time. So once I realized I could actually nurse my daughter, I went ahead and bought a nipple shield. I have the Medalla nipple shield, and here's the case that it comes in. And these are what it looks like. Mine came with two, so here they are. And basically what you do is you put this right over your nipple and um, and nurse your baby. And basically as your, as your baby is um, nursing, it pulls the milk out of your nipple into here and it does have little holes over there and you know, your baby gets the milk. So this kind of acts like a um, breast pump and it does shield your nipple and it's wonderful for, you know, if you have sore nipples from nursing. If I have to nurse my daughter a second time um, in the day for whatever reason, this is when I do use my nipple shield and it works wonders. I don't feel any of that soreness. These have been wonderful. And one morning while I was nursing my daughter on one breast, I realized that the other one was actually leaking milk. On this day, I didn't wear any of my uh, my nipple pads, so I realized that it was leaking through the bra. And I did some research and that's when I learned that as your baby is nursing on one breast, your other breast actually leaks a little bit of milk as well in response. So it's pretty much a waste of milk and I hated the idea that I'm wasting milk. So I did a little more research and there is a way to capture that milk while breastfeeding and it's through the haka. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. It's spelled H-A-A-K-A, -A -A, but this is what the haka looks like. And while you're nursing on one breast, you um, take the haka. Let's pretend my fist is um, a breast and my thumb is the nipple, but pretty much you take your haka, squeeze it, put it over your breast and let it go and it acts as a suction like literally once you let it go your breast goes kind of further down and as your baby is nursing in one breast this collects the milk that drips from the other breast and it's just a way to save milk because you know all all droplets of breast milk is liquid gold and you don't want to waste any of that liquid gold now to be honest nursing to me is very time consuming my daughter will last like 
15 minutes on one breast and then 15 minutes on the other. But in that meantime, while she's nursing on one, I'm able to collect up to one ounce of um, breast milk inside of this in a 15 minute session. One ounce is not a lot at all, but you know, it adds up. Once again, you won't collect a whole lot of milk in here. Well, me, honestly, I haven't collected a lot of milk. Y'all might be different, but I have not collected a lot of milk in here. So this is almost like a breast pump itself. If you don't have a pump or just don't feel like using your pump that day, go ahead and pull this out and collect all your droplets of milk. And speaking of time consuming, pumping is very time consuming. That's why I applaud myself for making it to three months. The kind of pump I have, it's called LA Bebe. And it's not, you know, anything special. It's just a cheap pump I got off of Amazon. When I started off pumping, I sat in place and, you know, would put all this together and sit there and pump for like 30 minutes. In a 30 minute session, on a good day, I'm able to collect total in both sides about eight ounces on a good day. On a bad day, I collect three. And on a worst day, I have collected one and a half ounces. And this is from both sides in a 30 minute session. But the most I've collected was nine ounces. So for like the first month I used to sit in place and pump and that is so boring. That's why I only did it like three times a day because I couldn't, I don't know, I couldn't bring myself to do it more than those three times a day. Like sitting there in that one place and just pumping, boring. You know, one day I sat there and I told myself there's gotta be an easier way to do this. I almost ended up buying the, um, what is it? These kind of breast pumps. These are super expensive, but it's also super convenient. I almost ended up buying these ones that you just place in your bra and it does this thing. There's not, you're not attached to anything and sitting there pumping. You literally place it in your bra and do what you have to do, walk around, all that good stuff, but it's way too expensive. So I just decided, you know what? I'm just gonna get up and do the things I need to do while pumping. So what I ended up doing is um, I have a nursing bra. So while these two parts are connected to me, I go ahead and take this and place it in between the um, bra. It's not heavy, it's pretty light, so once I do that, I'm able to walk around, do what I have to do. The only downside is once um, the bottles start getting kind of full, they hang, so I can no longer walk around. I do have to sit for that last portion of the pumping. But yes, this pump right here has tremendously helped me out. Like I said, it's very time consuming, but it has tremendously helped me out. Now, I, I'm to where I'm pumping about I think five times a day now. And you know, with just nursing or pumping or whatever method you use to collect your breast milk, you have to do it often in order to keep producing. So like I said, I try to pump about five times a day and that works out for me. And I nurse my daughter sometimes in between and I give my daughter formula at night just to help her sleep well. Formula is heavier, so it'll stay in her tummy longer so mommy can sleep. And I was able to do it because of these three items right here. Without these three items, I probably would have given up to be honest. I initially told myself I would, um, breastfeed for six months and then stop but once I get to six months I want to see if I can keep going longer if not we'll see because I do have to go to work soon so I'm trying to see how all that will you know work out once my maternity leave ends I do hope I'm able to come back from work and still have the energy to breastfeed and all that good stuff but we shall see like I said, the goal is six months, so in three more months, I'll update you all on that and see what happens. If I make it six months with no problems, I will try to go another three months, and from there, maybe a year, but after a year, I'm cutting it off. But yep, that's a little bit of my experience with one of the joys of motherhood. Hope I was able to help a mommy out today. Thank you for watching. Comment, subscribe, and stay tuned.